Taylor Swift's Cult of Deification, a divisive phenomenon amongst fans and critics. In the realm of pop culture, few figures have garnered as devoted a following as Taylor Swift. Her fans, known as Swifties, have elevated her to a near goddess status, particularly among professional 30 something women facing challenges in their love lives. This fervent devotion has created a polarizing cult like reverence around the singer that has left some questioning the reasons behind the adoration. The devotion of Swifties is well known, often bordering on fanaticism. Those not part of the fandom might find themselves labeled as enemies or excluded from the circle. Online Swifties, notorious for their intensity, are not averse to sending death threats, doxing individuals, or attempting to hack social media accounts. A chilling example is the public accusation of a reporter as a pedophile merely for criticizing Taylor's world tour. The fascination among women in their 30s with dwindling love lives is intriguing. Reasons vary, from finding Taylor's songs catchy to her relatable representation of the millennial female experience. Some even admit to purchasing tickets due to FOMO, fear of missing out, suggesting that the crowd mentality might be driving their decisions. Despite the high ticket prices, often exceeding $1,000, some fans are willing to spend significant amounts to witness a performance by an artist they may not be exceptionally fond of. This raises questions about the role of social conformity in influencing such choices. Interestingly, the author, a 25-year-old who fits the prime demographic for Taylor's fans, expresses a lack of understanding for the singer's allure. While acknowledging her own experiences with failed relationships, the author remains puzzled by the deification of Taylor Swift. The growing frenzy around Swift's persona and accomplishments, such as the predicted $1.4 billion from her tour, leaves the author skeptical of the hype. The article explores the idea that Taylor Swift's adoration might not be entirely warranted. While acknowledging her musical talent, catchy songwriting, and relatable lyrics, the author suggests that Swift is essentially a product of meticulous marketing rather than a genuine individual. This assessment leads to a lack of emotional connection for the author. The author also raises a valid point about Swift's carefully cultivated image. Unlike many other celebrities, Taylor Swift has avoided scandals and controversies, which may contribute to a lack of depth or grit in her persona. The author's desire for a more authentic portrayal of Swift is evident as they yearn for a glimpse behind the well-managed facade. In conclusion, the article delves into the complex phenomenon of Taylor Swift's immense popularity particularly among professional women navigating the challenges of their 30s. While acknowledging Swift's musical talents and appeal to a specific demographic, the author questions the cult-like devotion and carefully manufactured image that have contributed to her massive success. The article provides a thought-provoking perspective on the Taylor Swift phenomenon and invites readers to consider the implications of such widespread idolization.